it's like Shark Tank, but with a bit of a twist. It's called Philanthropy Tank, and we have some of the finalists right here in our studios. Hear their pitch on how they want to make Palm Beach County better. That's all coming your way next. Live, local, late breaking. WPBF 25 News at 9. Welcome back. Covering your community, we have some of the finalists from this year's Philanthropy Tank Program. Each one pitched an idea that directly addresses issues in Palm Beach County and how they would be able to fix it. So in the studio with me today is Alex Schneider from Wellington High School, Andrea Castillo at Spanish River Community High School, my alma mater, by the way, and Jim Carp, a philanthropist investor. So first of all, thank you guys all so much for being here this morning with us. And Jim, tell us a little bit about this program, first of all. Well, it's a fabulous program that was thought up by a couple of uh, wonderful business guys. And uh, they teach the students philanthropy and the business of philanthropy. It starts with uh, the students put together programs and they apply for grants, if you will. And uh, it's kind of like Shark Tank. And uh, there's four sharks, I'm one of them, and we get to choose <clears throat> how much we want to invest and uh, which students we invest in. That's pretty amazing, pretty cool. And to think, I mean, you know, everyone loves the show Shark Tank, so what a cool kind of spin on that show. So, so I, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna just throw this in. Yeah. It's a little uh, ad. Uh, the event happens on March the 10th at the Kravis Center, the Cohen Pavilion. It's free. The most students that come from any one school gets $1,000 for the school, not for the students, so. Wow. Pretty exciting. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Alex, <laughs> tell us about your idea. How did you pitch it and kind of give us a little background? Yeah, so I've been playing soccer since I was four and I realized that there was a need in the community. So around three years ago, I started collecting soccer balls and I've collected 600 soccer balls and 300 cleats. Wow. And I want to expand my program. So I'm creating a champion program, which will be high school representatives, which, which will manage each city. And as a 501c3, each high school, each champion will be able to get community service hours. So with Philanthropy Tank, I'll be able to expand to around 10 different cities. Why did you see that need? What was, what was it that you felt like you needed to, to do something about this? Yeah, so sometimes at soccer practice, there'd be kids that wouldn't have the proper cleats or wouldn't have shin guards or would have torn up cleats. So I realized that there really is a need in the community with that. Very exciting, very cool. And what about you? Tell us a little bit about your idea. Um, so my inspiration actually came from my personal background. I know that the transition to a new culture, a new country, and more importantly, a new school is very difficult for students, and it can be a terrifying experience. So the goal of STEM Lab is to take this difficult transition and transform it to a positive learning experience through the implementation of STEM. And STEM is, is an acronym that stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Um, and it's an innovative approach uh, to learning that we just basically, and it's very effective, it's, it's proven to be very effective for tactile learners and students with uh, learning impediments. Okay, tell us why, you know, you said that it was a personal experience. Yeah. Talk to us about that. How old were you when you had to do that transition? Um, so I was about five years old and it was okay. very difficult, you know, adjusting to a new culture, yeah. a new school, you know, you basically have to start all over. Um, and we just want to make sure that no one ever goes through that. You know, we're there for those people, you know, bridging the academic gap between people who come to this country. Making that transition just a little bit easier, yeah. right? <laughs> so for this year, is there anything new um, with this year's program than in years past? Well, there, I think it's just a bunch of great new programs of different types of philanthropy. Uh, the students now, what they're trying to do, not only set up the program, to implement the program, then figure out a way to, to sustain it for the future. Right. And it's a business. You have to figure right. out, they get a certain amount of money, and then do they raise money? Do they come up with uh, new ideas for uh, to present to the community to, to get more support? And these, this is why I'm in it. These guys are great. Yeah. And you, you just choose one student? How does that work? Is it just one finalist, or how many? Oh, no, no, no. There's uh, maybe six projects. OK that'll end up getting chosen. Wonderful. It's an you, you need to come. It'll I need be fun. to come, yeah. yeah. Well, let's tell Mar people about it. March I think, 10th. I think a lot of people are going to want to come. So let's go ahead and uh, tell you guys the information. So if you want to wa watch 
Alex and Andrea and the other finalists in action next month. You can get a free ticket online. It's free, people. No excuses here. Mm -hmm. We'll put that link on our website along with all that other information. Our website, of course, WPBF.com. All the information there, you see it March 10th from 3 to 5 o'clock. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. Good luck and congrats. It's very exciting. Sandra. Incredible ideas. I love the innovation and the goodwill. I mean, awesome all around. Good luck to you and all the other finalists for philanthropy. Awesome. Do good.